What is up you guys, Gold Pody here today in the 2017 Hyundai Sonata Sport courtesy of Freisinger Hyundai in Mechanicsburg, PA. And so I am in yet another Hyundai today because they do come with America's best warranty, including that 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. And I was reading through a Consumer Reports magazine the other day and they recommend just about every single Hyundai that is out there right now. So without further ado, let me start with pricing. So let me first start by saying there are two different engine setups and pricing is gonna be determined by which engine setup you go with. For example, there is a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, which is gonna start at $23,400. And then there is the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, which is gonna start at $26,600. And so as far as the engine setup goes, that first engine setup, the 2.4 liter, that's gonna come with 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 178 pound feet of torque available at 4,000 RPM. And then for the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, that one's gonna put out 245 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. Either way, power is going to be sent to the front wheels through a six-speed automatic transmission with Shiftronic, meaning you can slide the shifter into the bottom left-hand corner there, and that'll enable you to be able to shift between the gears using the shift lever there. And so another thing, again, with either engine setup, there is a drive mode select option, and that button's going to be located just behind the shifter there, but that is going to give you the option to choose between three different driving modes being Eco, Normal, and Sport. And so basically what that's going to do is it's going to adjust the throttle response as well as the shift points. And so the most noticeable difference though is I just put it in sport mode and it immediately downshifted put in RPMs at a much higher level of course giving you a quicker acceleration because of that. And so though another thing worth mentioning is if you do go with that two liter turbocharged engine on that setup you are going to get a sport two suspension along with that. Of course with the more power you gotta have better handling right? And then as far as the miles per gallon goes for the 2.4 liter you're going to get 25 in the city 35 on the highway that's pretty good for a car this size and for the turbocharged engine you're going to get 22 in the city 31 on the highway either way this one does take regular unleaded fuel. And then as far as visibility goes, I definitely have a decent sized rear window back there, so I have no issues with visibility. I can see perfectly fine. Then also on the driver's side mirror here, there is a blind spot mirror within that, so it helps you out. Make sure you don't merge into the person next to you. That's always a good thing as well. And so, but anyways, I do have the 2.4 liter engine set up today. So without further ado, let's do a quick little acceleration, see how quickly we can get the 2017 Sonata Sport up to speed. Definitely still a fun car. It's not gonna be as quick as the two liter turbocharged engine, of course, but I wouldn't say you would have any issues merging into traffic or anything like that. And so, but anyways, you guys, enough with the driving dynamics. Let's check out the exterior. And so to start up front, there is a unique sport front grille. There's a unique sport front bumper as well. Then to the sides, there are automatic projector headlights with LED daytime running lights. And swinging around to the side, there are integrated turn signals in their side mirrors. And their side mirrors do come heated as well. And down below, there are side rocker panels with the chrome molding. And as far as the wheel setup goes, for the 2.4 liter, you're going to get 17 inch alloy wheels. And for the turbocharged engine, you're going to get 18 inch alloy wheels. But then moving our way to the back, there is a rear spoiler for both engine setups. There is a shark fin antenna up top, and there is a center high mount stoplight as well. And if you go with the turbocharged engine, you're going to get a rear diffuser. However, that is not the one I have, so you're not going to see it right now. But then as far as the exhaust setup goes for the one I'm in today, you're going to get a chrome tipped dual exhaust. And for the turbocharged engine, you're going to get a chrome tipped quad exhaust setup. But anyways, since I have the dual exhaust setup, as always, you guys, you know what's coming next. Here is that exhaust clip. And so now since we're around back, cargo capacity is going to come in at 16.3 cubic feet. And if that wasn't quite enough, there is a 60-40 split for additional space if you needed it. As far as the rear legroom goes, it's going to come in at 35.6 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have going on back there. And then for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders if they wanted it. But then moving up to the front seats, there is an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar. If you go with the 2.4 liter like you're seeing now, then the 2.4 liter is going to give you cloth seating surfaces and the turbocharged engine is going to give you leather bolsters with cloth inserts and those seats are going to be heated as well as far as the steering wheel goes it is tilt and telescoping and again if you go with the turbocharged engine you're going to get a flat bottom steering wheel with paddle shifters
years. But then as far as the startup goes, let me show you guys the key here. This is what the key is going to look like for both engine setups. You're going to have lock, unlock, and you can unlock the rear hatch as well. If you go with the 2.4 liter, you have this setup where you actually put the key in the ignition. If you go with the turbocharged engine, you're just going to put the key in your pocket and press the push button, start button. But this is what anyways, upon startup, the gauges are going to come in a light bluish, whitish kind of hue. The tachometer is on the left, speedometer is on the right. There is a digital setup in the middle giving you a bunch of different information, which can all be controlled by the steering wheel mounted controls. For instance, the first thing it's going to tell you is how many miles you have left until you hit empty, as well as your average miles per gallon. You're going to have your trip A and B, and you can also set it up for the digital speedometer if you would rather look at that while you're driving. But then you can also check out some other things like the audio information, as well as your tire pressure for all four tires, and the vehicle is going to be able to tell you when your next oil change is due as well. And so, but anyways, as far as overall interior quality goes, there is a power sunroof available with the value edition package, and every trim level does come with leatherette door trim inserts. It's also going to come with carbon fiber appearance accents, and for the turbocharged engine, it does get 3D tech appearance accents, chrome interior door handles, aluminum pedals, a leather wrap shift knob, and some other things. But then as far as the tech goes, either engine setup, it's going to be the same. It's going to come with a 7-inch color touchscreen display, and with that, you're going to get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning you get free navigation through that. Also through those apps, you have the ability to check out your Pandora, iHeartRadio, and a couple other compatible apps. Of course, you can pair your phone to the car as well, giving you Bluetooth capabilities as well as audio streaming. As far as that HD radio setup goes, it does come with a six-speaker sound system for both engine setups. So as always, you guys, let's test out the sound system, see what we got on the radio today. <laughs> Not a whole lot of bass going on in that song, but definitely a clear sound system. No issues with that. That's the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is on that screen when you put the vehicle in reverse, there is a reverse camera with grid lines letting you know what's behind you. Make sure you don't run anything or anyone over. But that, as always, is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags as well as a driver's knee airbag. There's going to be latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats in the back. Then there's going to be four wheel disc brakes, brake assist and electronic brake force distribution. And again, there's a tire pressure monitoring system in the driver's blind spot mirror. But also there is electronic stability control with traction control, front and rear crumple zones and an energy absorbing steering column. And so, but anyways, you guys, that is about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on this stuff at the bottom of the screen right there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.